In this video, we'll take a look at different types of sealant used for metal roofing installs, how to use the right kind for the right situation, and which products we recommend. Sealants are used to keep air and water out of a system. And when it comes to metal roofing applications, there's a couple main types that you'll see used. Gun caulking comes in a tube and is used to provide a secondary or tertiary defense in areas like flashing laps and joints. In this video, we're learning about sealants, including gun caulking, butyl tape, and hot melt butyl. Tape sealants, like this compressible butyl tape, is used in metal-to-metal -metal connections that are fastened down like Z-closures and offset cleats. Certain sealants like hot melt butyl are used in the seams of some standing seam applications as well, and we'll talk more about that later. Before we move on, I need to reiterate the importance of using sealant of any kind as a secondary or tertiary defense only. Don't use sealant where you should use metal instead. Make sure you use proper laps, follow good water shedding principles, and follow manufacturer's recommended details because they will show you where and when you should use sealants. When it comes to gun caulking, there are tons of different formulations and products out there, such as acrylics, uh, solvent-based sealants, polyurethanes, modified silicones, and silicones. Silicones are often the best choice depending on your application because they are inorganic, so they don't degrade over time, and they're permanently flexible. Sheffield Metals recommends NovaFlex metal roof sealant because it's a curable sealant that can be installed at winter and summer temperatures. It won't slump, crack, or shrink. It has excellent adhesion characteristics to most building substrates. It completely cures in as little as two days, depending on the weather, and it's available in Sheffield Metals colors. For gun caulking sealants, make sure the area you're applying sealant to is clean, dry, and free of any material that may prevent adequate adhesion. Smooth or tool the bead of sealant if necessary, and if you're applying vertically, you may have to come back after the sealant has cured and fill in any gaps. Gun caulking is used in areas like the panel seams at the eave to prevent water siphoning, in laps and joints between pieces of flashing, and in some specific details like the top of pipe boots or a counter flashing on a sidewall or chimney. Tape sealant is another main category of metal roofing sealants. Tape sealants are made of butyl, which is a non-curing synthetic rubber material that is compressed when fastened. It comes in rolls of various dimensions, but most commonly you'll see something like this double bead 3 16 by 7 8 roll. It's used on metal-to-metal -metal connections that you're installing with fasteners, like Z-closures, the bottom of pipe boots, curbs, and offset cleats. This is why it's also important to have an appropriate amount of fasteners so the butyl compresses properly and seals the area. Check your manufacturer's details for fastener spacing. In certain applications, such as low slope metal roofing, sealant is applied in the seams of a standing seam metal roofing system to help prevent water intrusion. A non-curing sealant is preferred so that the installer can go back later and seam the ribs while the sealant is still pliable. Melted butyl is often used in this situation with a system like hot melt that automatically injects the sealant into the panel ribs as it's being roll formed. You can use a curable gun caulking sealant for this application if you don't have a hot melt system, and Sheffield Metals did complete engineering like the ASTM E2140 water submersion testing using gun caulking sealant, but you have to make sure that you get the panel completely seamed to 180 degrees before the sealant sets up and cures. Make sure you check your engineering to see if sealant is required in the seams of the panel in your application. Make sure you subscribe here to the Metal Roofing channel so you don't miss the next video in our Standing Seam Metal Roofing Accessory Series. Comment down below with any questions, and as always, I'm Thad Barnett, and I'll catch you next time.